We are broadcasting live from what's left of Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena, one of the few structures to survive the big one. The fans are munching on tofu burgers, sipping Chardonnay, and getting ready for some Newton football. Remember, in the MFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Los Scandalous Volts go up against the Los Scandalous Dam. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. See that boo, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> it's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, hmm. uh, no, nope, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Oh, you idiot. And it's first and ten. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Second down and ten. Reminds me of a lap dance I had by a skeleton once. Oh, yeah, after the mayhem ball, they clung six feet under. Yeah, my wife could smell the bun there on me when I got home. Big trouble! And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good! The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> and it's first and ten. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to... Oh, the unstoppable force makes the explodable object. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. in football, the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size, because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Pick up for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. And 
It's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. And it's first and ten. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Second down and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First down and six. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Don't worry. If he shots you to death, maybe he can shot you back to life after. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two. Runs it for four yards. Third 
third down and eight. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. First and four. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Yeah, well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Crunch. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckle. Third down, and the punter is warming up. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. And Mel Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're him, but he sure has a good set of hands. <laughs> three-yard pickup. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, Ben! You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, we're actually playing some D. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. <laughs> and a 
Giants, first and ten. Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blast just cleared the field for the receiver. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. run there for eight yards. Second down and two. It's a glitter suction. What's that, Grim? A fabulous pal. And how about a little dirt sandwich? Since when is that a penalty? Since now, I guess, Grim. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First down and one. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Man, look at him dance. <laughs> he can't help himself. I thought robot time's supposed to feel emotions. Looks like someone needs to watch Blade Runner again. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And we're at the two minute warning. Second down and five. down and five. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. They let the punt drop and it will be down by the defense. It's first and ten. Yeah. The defense oh, is he picking his nose during the huddle. He'll have to pick a new one now. <laughs> the receiver is supposed to move away from the ball on the bomb's way dirty trick. Yeah, 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 yeah.
First down and forever. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! And that's two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense is like 30 balls over there on the sideline just waiting for them. Why don't they just use them? Ask the ball boy. He doesn't know nothing. Oh, what a brutal hit. And that's their last timeout. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Play the dog named Snags. He got you play a card nine. And you got to stay focused on the field, Bricks. You can't lose your head in the heat of battle like he did. Just slows the game down. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be caught. It's good. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? We're <laughs> gonna go to a strip tease show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever.
And it's first and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. They caught the defense napping. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's bleak, Bricks. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked Crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. That's a six yard gain on that catch. Second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third and four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot We'll decide after we see how this goes, but probably stupid. Oh, wow. A run on fourth didn't work out. Who have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. He's seven layers of smarmy, Grim. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and less than eight. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps off side to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Hot one, hot two, hot That's a four-yard gain. Oh. 
Second down and six. And the rumor is going touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkeys getting wrapped on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. And they line up for the extra point. Through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for. You know what? Never mind. First and ten. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Second down in a lot. Pick up of about three on that play. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Holy exploding baby diapers, Batman. That just knocked the ball loose. Smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Let's see. Oh, look at the back, my friends. Was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Hey. The kick is good. Um, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten.
Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Third down, and the defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. for the first down. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit, he is dead. He can go all the way. They're going for two. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? If you get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. The crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. It's a zap attack. It's like when you shuffle your socks on a carpet and zap your sister. Only this. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. First and ten. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Not only does he drop 
the ball, but someone's going to be taking a long nap after that hit. Third down and forever. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I'm going to see if he cries or pisses himself first. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Third down and the punter is warming up. Well, a good heads up play there, getting it out of bounds better than throwing a pick. Ballsy? Stupid, maybe? I guess we'll decide after we see how this goes. But probably stupid. Whoa. And the quarterback calls it Sonic. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. First and ten. Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Brex? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? First and ten. Oh, nice hit. Second and three. night there was a big explosion and then everyone left disappointed what do you mean everyone third down and three this guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game man these guys have metal balls they're gonna try to pick up the first down here did they jingle Thank you, moron. He said, and he zips that one in there for a touchdown. They're going for two points. Two point plays are high risk, high reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. He is fighting for every yard. And it's...
It's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. It's the fourth quarter, and we're at the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go what? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And the defense quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Man, what a hit that was. The defense calls a second timeout. They really need to make a stop here. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's a nice run for a first down. The defense calls their last timeout. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why is that, Bricks? Uh, just a gut feeling. It also might be that porterhouse I ate for breakfast. How are you still alive? Drugs. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. Third down and six. Hot one, hot two, eight. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Yeah, big deal. Missed a meat for Brady Tran with a ball that didn't fall down. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. <laughs> that run is good for nine yards. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. The Vams walk away victorious today. It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Boy, you're not kidding. The blood and gut sucking Zamboni is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40 yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable brickhead has to say. Blah, blah, blah. You suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. Hey, man, I was here on the now. You know what happened?
Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every up.